day, everyone. This is now our second session. If we continue our overview of God's master plan. And the second session, part two of God's master plan, the public life. Before we get started, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank the Lord today that you have given us this day again to know more about your master plan. I pray God to those who are watching this video that they will understand and learn more of your word. Just as your mouthpiece, Holy Spirit, let your anointing flow freely to those who will be watching, that will understand everything that we will be learning today. Lord, I submit to you, God, this session. All the things I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now let us have a review in our first session, the part one of our private life. We know that God's master plan begins with a private life. That there to be governance by God, by God appointed, by God's sovereign choice in our private life. He desired to be, uh, to be restored to himself, to our justification. And this justification that God desires has been accomplished through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And through his death and resurrection, God now has that hope for us. And that is let, uh, our letter O, ordaining the new birth experience. And through this new birth experience, we'll have new life in Christ. And through this new birth experience, God decided not only that we'll be born again, having new life, but in that letter D, directed by the Lordship of Christ. That under his Lordship, we'll learn as, it, as He is our master now. Our new life belongs to not, not to us, but to Jesus now, our Lord. And this Lordship of Christ who directed us could be done only and be accomplished not by any human resources but to that letter us sustained by God's resources it is the resources by his power alone and resources that we could live this life this new life this private life then as we experience this private life this this first part of the plan of God God is our us to continue from my private life, we want us to have our public life. And that is our lesson today. Part two, the public life. And it will continue to that next letter, letter M. Multiplication by God's appointed mandate towards sanctification in the public life. And God desires becoming born again, new life in Him. In this second part of our verse, in John 15, 16, it says, and appointed us to go. So did God has appointed us to go. And it is inspired by Paul. As Paul said in John 15, 15 to 16, but he was called to be an apostle to the Gentiles. That he will be offering the Gentiles sanctified by the Holy Spirit to God. And this work of sanctification by the Holy Spirit, God desires it could be done not by one alone, by one man alone. That's why He built His church, as He said in Mark, Matthew 16. Jesus built His church. And His church that He built, He raised up people, ministerial gifts to equip us. And it's written in Ephesians 4 11 to 13. He appointed apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastor teachers to equip the saints. Um, one person said, perfection of the saints. Equip the saints for ministry of service. Toward maturity. To be like Christ. So God raised up people in the church to equip us. And as God will equip us, to the church. God wants us to accomplish His appointed mandate. And that we call the Great Commission. And this mandate begins as 
we go to letter A, affirming us as witnesses. So we begin to become witnesses, affirming that the gospel that we, that we proclaim. And it's written as one eight. The purpose of the, the Holy Spirit coming at Pentecost is as the Holy Spirit comes, it will give us power to be witnesses from Jerusalem to Judea and Samaria to the end of the earth. We are witnesses of the gospel, beginning from the early church down to the ages, and we belong to that. We become witnesses by the power of the Holy Spirit. And as witnesses, God desires also to be his disciples. We go to that letter as not only affirming us with you, but serving as disciples. How could we serve as disciples? This is an inspiration of John 13, 34, 35. That the world will know when they will see that we love one another. And that love begins with the love of God, the agape love of God. When we love one another, the world will know that we are the disciples of Jesus. So, not only assertives, but disciples. We'll be making disciples through that agape love. And how could we do the job as witnesses and disciples? We go to that letter T. Testifying and world vision. As Paul testified in Romans 15 20, that God, that he desires, his ambition is to preach the gospel to the regions beyond, to the region that Christ is not known. So, we, will, we need to testify in the regions beyond, in world missions, beyond our borders, beyond our community, from our home, from our family, to the community near, near, near to us, to the city, and beyond the borders, even cross-culturally. And we, as we testify in missions, how do we do it? Do it. We go to letter E, institute it into the community. We will go to the community. We are not called not only to stay in the four corners of our church building to worship the Lord, the equip, but we need to go out into the community, into the working places to so those who, do, who need Christ. So it is in the community, in the working places that we that our testimony be heard and many will know the Lord Jesus. That into this community, as Paul inspired inspire the the Believer in Galatians 6, 9, 10. That let us not become aware in doing good. So, our testimony into the community, not go doing good to people. And this doing good to people, especially to the fellow believers. This is the work of service. And this work of service into the community. God desires us to do that. And as we go into the community and testifying the, the gospel, the desire of God is not only there to multiply more people, but what what kind of people? And it go to letter R, reproduce Christ like this. And through these people that know Jesus, becoming disciples like us, all of us will grow into Christ likeness. We will reproduce fresh likeness from us to our to others as we make disciples beyond even our own borders. Reproducing Christ like this is the character that is transformation. The purpose of the gospel in our public life is transformation to the Lord Jesus Christ, to the gospel. And this is the end of public ministry. That many will be transformed by the power of God by the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is our public life. And as, this, as we live this public life, we have that appointed mandate. So now, as we have this public life doing a completion of the Great Commission, what next? We will be learning that in the next section. In the third part of the next section, the heavenly life. That God that decided not only in our public life, a church of salvation, to the public life, doing ministry, preaching the gospel, making disciples. 
that desire to ask for eternity. That is our lesson. Next session. I hope you 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 receive this message, this lesson today. Will you learn? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I pray God to those who are watching this video, learning the lesson of our public life in you. We pray God that Lord, really, you have called us not to be not only to be saved in our private life, restored in you, Lord. You are our Savior, you are our Lord, and through your resources, Lord, you, you know you want us to go out, only us to go, to multiply by your mandate to the Great Commission. And to the church, you do this, O God. And Lord, to the church, O God, we are the church. We became, we are, you affirm us as your witnesses because of the gospel, the power of the Holy Spirit. And Lord God, from affirmation, O God, we serve now as disciples through your love. The world, this world will know that you are disciples because you be loved one another by your agape love. And this love, O God, uh, Lord, will be executed, O God. We can be, do it to testify this, the gospel in world missions, to people, oh God, beyond. And we execute to God, oh God, into the community, to, to the working places, outside our four corners of the church, that more people will come to know you in the communities, the, in the working places. They will know the Lord Jesus Christ. And thank you, God, that uh, the Many will be multiplied, come to know you, become witnesses also, becoming disciples. It is your purpose, O God, that we will produce fresh likeness. That your church, as a church, we will grow in maturity, growing transformation from glory to glory into your likeness. Yes, O God, bless our public life for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Keep saving Jesus, living our public life for the glory of God. Thank you. Till next time, to God be the glory.